So we found out that GPT-5 is being made because Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, said so in an interview with the Financial Times. He mentioned that OpenAI is working on GPT-5, which is a major step up from GPT-4, the latest and most advanced language model used in ChatGPT and other apps. Altman explained that GPT-5 will be stronger and more skilled than GPT-4, and it will be up to date with world events until 2023. About the progress of GPT-5, Altman mentioned that it's still in the beginning stages, and it's not clear when it will be finished. He talked about some challenges they're facing, like making the model bigger and ensuring it's safe and reliable. He also mentioned that OpenAI isn't rushing to release GPT-5. They want to get it right. Their aim isn't just to be the first to put out a new model, but to make the best AI that is useful and good for people. Now, as we all know, GPT-4 is the latest OpenAI's base model and it powers ChatGPT. But GPT-5, the next version, is expected to be even better. It aims to understand texts more deeply, not just generate them. GPT-4 sometimes gets things wrong or gives irrelevant answers. GPT-5 could fix this by making more sense of what it reads and writes. It could handle tougher tasks, like summarizing and combining information from different places. Sam Altman has highlighted the need for more comprehensive and diverse data sets for training GPT-5. This includes both publicly available data and proprietary data from companies. By gathering a broader range of information, OpenAI aims to create a model that not only understands and generates language more effectively, but also stays current with events up to 2023. Another big step for GPT-5 could be handling other media types in more profound manner, and we know it will be bigger and faster, processing more data, and creating longer text more smoothly. OpenAI is working on making it more efficient and less costly, which could make it easier for more people to use. Now, Microsoft is a major partner for OpenAI and has been heavily involved since 2019 by investing a lot of money. Microsoft isn't just providing the cloud services for OpenAI, it's also a key backer for the GPT-5 project. Altman said they are looking for more funding from Microsoft and other investors to keep up with the high costs of developing complex AI models. He mentioned that the partnership with Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, is going very well, and they have similar goals and values. The involvement of Microsoft in GPT-5 goes beyond just money. It's a strategic partnership. Microsoft is using OpenAI's technology in its own products like GitHub Copilot, Microsoft Designer, and Bing Chat. They are also offering Azure OpenAI service, which lets developers create their own AI applications with OpenAI's tech. Microsoft and OpenAI are working together on research and innovation, focusing on safety and ethical use of AI. They are both dedicated to using AI in a way that is safe and benefits everyone. OpenAI doesn't only partner with Microsoft, they collaborate with other companies, organizations, and research institutions to push AI technology forward. They've worked with Reddit, Spotify, Shopify, and more, integrating ChatGPT into these platforms. They also join forces with universities like UC Berkeley, Stanford, and MIT to support AI education and research. OpenAI has ties with social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for monitoring AI content and works with governments, regulators, and NGOs to set AI standards and ethics. These partnerships are vital for OpenAI, especially for the development of GPT-5. They provide essential data, resources, feedback, and advice. They also help OpenAI in its mission to align AI with human values and distribute it widely. But these partnerships are not without their challenges, such as managing different interests, expectations, and responsibilities. It's important for OpenAI to be open and responsible in its partnerships and to work closely with all its partners and stakeholders. Obviously, OpenAI is working on creating Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, a kind of AI that can do any task a human can. And they see their new AI model, GPT-5, as a big step towards this goal and believes it could lead to even more advanced AI in the future. This goal is pretty ambitious and comes with many challenges, both technical and ethical. There's still a lot we don't know about how AGI will impact us and our society. But one thing is clear, AI, especially with GPT-5, is going to bring big changes. We should be excited about these developments, but also cautious. All right, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.